Hi, my name is Cassandra. The purpose of this presentation is twofold. First, I want to demonstrate my ability to use Microsoft PowerPoint as a means of presentation. And second, I wish to share my love of Airedales and hopefully offer some insight if you are considering adding an Airedale to your family. During the 1800s, farmers in England's Valley of Air bred a combination of terriers and hounds in hopes of creating the perfect hunting dog. Ultimately, they produced the Airedale, a dog of medium build that typically weighs around 65 pounds, employs an even temperament, outstanding agility, above average intelligence, and tremendous heart. Over the years, Airedales have served in the military, explored continents, worked side by side with trappers, miners, and cowboys. These are working dogs that throw everything they have into getting a job done. You've heard it said, there is no bad weather, only the wrong clothing? Well, I believe that phrase may have been originally coined by the human partner of Ed Airedale. These dogs thrive in the out of doors, but they don't want to be out there alone because the best discoveries are meant to be shared. Maximo is the oldest of our three Airedales. He and I have been bosom companions for over 10 years. Nothing in the world makes him happier than the first snowfall of the year. He especially delights in running under tree branches, loading up his coat with snow, and then shaking it all over me. Who says you need to have hands to have a snowball fight? This delightful girl is Lily. She joined our family in December 2014. She had just turned three and had never lived in a house. It makes her happiest to curl up under my desk and sleep on my feet. Her favorite treat is a banana, and I am convinced she might trade my life or yours to get one. Maximo thinks bananas are pretty awful, but he does love to share apples and carrots. Kemi joined our family five years ago, when his owner deployed and couldn't keep him. It was a boon for us, because Hemi grew devoted to my husband. He's sensitive to Wayne's stress levels and provides immeasurable amounts of adoration, mixed with just the right amount of zany, to keep Wayne calm. Because of their even temperament and sweet dispositions, Airedales make great service dogs. People who deal with anxiety issues often find comfort within the bounds of this dog's unconditional love. In my experience, Airedales always want to be in on the action. They love to play, and they don't take themselves or you too seriously. So while they will be content to lie blissfully at your feet four hours at a time, They expect their good behavior to be rewarded with a game or a walk to help burn off all that energy they've stored up. So take them outside and play a little frisbee. Do something to challenge the playful spirit with which they've been imbued. Need an extra player for a game of football? I'll never let it be said that an Airedale isn't willing. Of course, they do tend to be ball hogs. Airedales love toys, but they have some very different thoughts on what makes the perfect plaything. So for your sanity and their health, it is important to help them find the right one. Beware of anything they can eat and shred. When playtime is over and it's time to crash, don't expect your Airedale to seek out a dog bed in some forgotten corner of an out-of-the-way room. I always find mine sprawled on my couch, the love seat, or in the center of my bed. In short, whichever piece of furniture is closest to where I am or that I have most recently occupied. Airedales don't like being separated from their families. They are not a dog you can leave in the backyard or a kennel all the time, nor should you secure them away in a garage or other dog-appropriate portion of your house. Their place is wherever you are and they insist on being intimately involved in whatever task you are performing. My Airedales are not needy, but they do have a tendency to be underfoot. Maximo and Hemi adore children. Lily, who spent her early life in a kennel with other dogs, has a natural reservation around people. 
Like most dogs, the key is to socialize your Airedale with children early and teach the child to be kind to animals. In the picture, Caleb and Maximo had been playing peekaboo around the kitchen island, which was great fun, until Maximo got excited and barked. Maximo has a big, overwhelming voice. Often when we are inside, I'll find Maximo looking out the living room window. He's watching for intruders and plotting our next grand adventure. If you want a dog that enjoys more than a walk around the block, who will be not only your companion but your protector, well this may be the dog for you. Keeping in mind that Airedales are not meant for confined spaces and small living, they require two to three long walks a day to keep them in top of form, mentally and physically. Under the right conditions and with good health, you'll find that an Airedale will stay active and playful its entire lifespan of 10 to 13 years. For all of their great characteristics of personality, loyalty, and affection, Airedales were bred for working and hunting. If you have an immaculate yard and you wish to keep it that way, you may not want the king of the terriers. They love to dig, and they're never content with one small hole or even with one hole. Honestly, there are portions of my yard that look like the surface of the moon. Notice the power of Lily's shoulders and teeth in this video. Airedales that have been inappropriately confined have been known to shred doors. However, the power of their teeth and claws combined with a valiant heart is what makes Airedales such an amazing hunting dog and suitable for use in security work. So is an Airedale the right addition for your family? Well, yes, if you're looking for a partner and a friend and have the time and energy to invest in an amazing relationship, you will not be disappointed. As for me, well, I have to run, because all that fussing you hear in the background, that's Maximo and Lil letting me know that I have worked long enough. And it's time for our walk. So until we meet again, you have a great day, and thank you so much for listening.